everybody, it's Autumn. I'm here at South by Southwest with members of the band Free Energy. We have Scott, Evan, and Nick with us today. And we're going to talk a little bit about their debut album that is out now digitally called Stuck on Nothing. Um, so first of all, you guys are here at South by. Um, what have you got going on? How many shows have you played so far? How, how many do you have coming up? What's going on? We've played uh, two shows and we have seven more to go. So that seems like a really busy schedule. Are you, um, have you, is that just like coming at you? Were you guys prepared for this at all? Or is it all at once just kind of overwhelming? Totally ready. We're yeah. totally ready to do this. Uh, yeah. Have you been looking forward to it for a while? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think we've all been planning ahead. We know uh, which parties we're going to, which shows we're playing, uh, which shoes to wear, all that. <laughs> the important things. I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear, but. It's all right. You got to be spontaneous. Got to keep part of it, you know. Um, so, how long has the whole process been for this album coming out? Um, this is your debut album. It's the first one you're putting out under this name. How long has the whole process been from start to finish? Long time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, months. Or like years. years. Uh, I mean, between like writing songs and getting the album recorded and uh, rehearsing the music live it's probably been like almost three about two years uh so really long yeah that's pretty insane um i mean we finished the album a long time ago and now it's been just waiting for the record label to like get their act together to put it out yeah what was it like working with um james murphy have you guys um do you like did you idolize him at all is he an influence on you guys or was it just kind of how Absolutely did that Absolutely not uh <laughs> But um, as soon as we met him, it was obvious that it was going to be totally perfect. Like it was, it was really, really great. Um, I can't really imagine anybody else doing what he did, you know. And like, um, I can't really imagine working with anybody else, like for the next thing. Um, I don't know if that'll actually work out, but um, he just did such a great job and really, really helped us get what we were trying to do. Uh, so since it's been such a long process and waiting for the album to come out, do you think that the delay of the physical release has any effect on you guys, or is it...? I think it's been good. Yeah, it's uh, like, we just, we're getting to be like, we consider ourselves to be a good band now, whereas if it had come out maybe right when, we were, when it was ready to be put out, like, we were a different band at that point. We were still like figuring out who we were, and so... We're a little more mature now. It's given us time to like just uh, get better at our own pace and be more comfortable. So now that it's going to come out, I feel like we're totally ready for it. So it's like everything's been working out really slowly and <laughs> perfectly. Like it's good. Uh, have there any been any uh, times at point in times where you guys are still just really shell shocked by something that happens? Like you guys just played Letterman um, at Arid uh, last night, actually um, Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day. Uh, so that must have been a huge opportunity. Is there anything else like that that you have coming up or that is just really shocking and overwhelming to you guys? I don't I don't think any of it's like overwhelming. It's just, I don't know, it's exciting. Uh, whether it be Letterman or playing here or just going on tour, it's all, I, you know, I think we're all really grateful for all of it. So and, um, each of, you know, each of the shows are different. And so I think it's it's just been exciting too that, people have been excited at, at shows too and coming out and that's I guess that's been a surprise because you know you go and do what you do and you never know if people are going to actually like it or not so. right right so what else are you guys looking forward to on a personal level here besides playing all the shows that you guys have coming up uh, what's what's South by Southwest to you guys are there any new acts that you think are uh, competition or even just re you're really excited to check out yeah, <laughs> yeah all competition there are winners and losers here but we've got some friends in this band called Fool's Gold that we're really excited to see. Uh, and just other than that, I've never seen Andrew WK. Yeah. Uh, so I want to thank you guys again for taking the time to talk to me. You guys have a super busy schedule, and I know that. And uh, so thank you guys. Uh, once again, Stuck on Nothing is out now digitally, so if you're into that sort of thing, check it out. But if you want to wait for the physical release, May 4th, DFA. So. It's on cassette, too. Yeah. Cassette? You guys Cassettes are doing are available it? now. That's From actually, I'm, I'm interested to know what you guys, uh, like, how you think that the cassette revolution is changing the music industry. Do you think it'll have, like, any lasting effect, or do you think it's just a trend? I 
think it's a bunch of like nerds, li- like nostalgic nerds like us listening to cassettes. I mean, I I think m- most cassettes are inferior, but when it's done right, uh, like we have this Peter Gabriel cassette that we just got, that's just like wicked. It sounds so good on cassette. You know, you c- if you if you if you master it right, it's great. I just took a trip down to Florida and we had Genesis, and the whole warp the whole warp of the tape was just it added so much. I thought. Oh, that's a different. Yeah. Well, ours <laughs> might have that because ours is. Uh, the production is really <laughs> low quality. <laughs> I'm not happy with that actually, but I'm happy that you know, like we only listen to tapes in the van, so it's pretty sweet that you know other bands like us maybe can actually listen to our album. Awesome. Well, thanks again, guys. Yeah, thank really you. appreciate it.